Hi, we're Jen and Guy. We've been doing a part-time international travel challenge for the last few years. Then COVID hit and Guy lost his job, so we rented out our house and hit the road with two dogs in tow. Follow us for fun adventures in the good old U.S. of A. A few weeks ago, we packed up our house in eight short days, did some home repairs, then hit the road with our two dogs for a one-year road trip. As they tried to find some comfort in all the chaos, there was one little problem. Guy had a run-in with a trash can, but his wounds have since healed. Leaving LA was kind of crazy. As soon as we hit the open road, we felt so much better. We woke up to this beautiful paradise called Durango, Colorado. <laughs> that <was laughs> yeah, that is Big Daddy of the pond. That fish is so big. Wow. Durango is a small city in southwestern Colorado near the New Mexico border. It's a charming town with lots of shops and restaurants. From Durango, you can take the million dollar highway to Silverton, the historic mining town about an hour away. Sitting at 9,000 feet in the San Juan Mountains, it's a great day trip from Durango. On the ride back from Silverton, there are a few points of interest. Molas Pass at almost 11,000 feet has incredible views. Next up is Purgatory a resort that mountain bikers love in summer. We also found some random roadside attractions and then a great one. Okay, we made it to the James Ranch Grill. We've been passing this place, I don't know how many times. A while. few, yeah. <laughs> and we're finally here. We didn't really know what it was at first and then we heard they had the best burgers, so we're going. So we're gonna go have a nice juicy burger. And we put Can't the dogs wait. in the car and so if you hear howling at any moment, you know why. And we brought our masks. Okay. And we're well, going in. This is actually our first restaurant experience. And this place is all outdoors, which is super cool. And um, it has an awesome view and we're allowed to go get the doggies. It's really nice here and everybody's like super spread out. So we feel good about it. And Guy's mask is like his t-shirt that he, <laughs> it does not work is the bottom line. But check out this. It's a mask though. <laughs> it's like a weak one. Look at the bottom. Yeah. It works. Yeah. This little river like this is actually really important. Guy's gonna tell you why. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little irrigation. You can uh, take your waterway. mask down. We're only. It's an irrigation waterway. Guy went to go get the dogs so that they can have dinner here with us. <laughs> here they come. They probably think this is the best thing that ever happened to them. <laughs> so. Uh... She's stuck. She's not coming. On the way over here, of course, Ollie had a number two right in <laughs> front of everyone. <laughs> and I didn't have a plastic bag, but uh, we're all good now. All right, we got our burger, we got our steak sandwich, we got some slaw and fries. Yum. Ted just had a bite. This is so insanely good. So it's like a steak sandwich. I'm gonna have a hard time pulling this apart. And there is an aioli on it and caramelized onions and seriously, so delicious. One of the prettiest sites in Durango is the Animas River. From Baker's Bridge, to whitewater rafting in gentle spots like this, up to class five rapids for serious adventure seekers. Guy loved the wide open spaces in Durango for drone practice until. I think Guy might have had his first drone crash. Let's see. Happen, baby. I don't you know, have your I'm out of control. Since so you have your first crash. Yeah. All good again, and another dog walk. We headed to Viacito Lake. 
It's a great day or half day trip from Durango. Only 18 miles away, this secluded area offers boating, fishing, hiking, restaurants, and lodges if you want to stay overnight. The most beautiful sunset on our last night was the perfect goodbye to our time in Colorado. Well, it's 6 a.m. We're all packed up. We are saying goodbye to our little paradise. Daisy is not going to go to the bathroom. Guy, say bye. Hi, we're ready to go. And Ollie is really worried we're leaving yeah. him. It was an uneventful 13 hour drive and we're now back in LA. Yeah, we've gotten some good rest in the last few days and we're gonna be heading up north. So we'd love to have you along for the ride, subscribe, and you'll catch all of our videos.